Hey folks, Geek Helping Hanna here with your tech news. We have news from all over, including D Link, ATT, Microsoft, and Apple. Stay tuned for the two tech news. D Link is showing this circuit to the world. It's a cloud router 5700. It has the ability to boost performance to 1750 Mbps, which uses a 5 GHz band that expands better through home and objects. This system includes 4 gigabit. Ethernet ports are next to a single USB, and all of this is included in the back of the system. But wait, D-Link doesn't stop there. They have created apps, like the Cloud app, that allows you to monitor your home network, and the D-Link share port allows you to stream directly from the USB storage. This should make your home network a bit faster, but you can find it and buy it from Amazon or Newegg, only $189.99. AT&T is joining the game with Verizon's shared data plans. This can be a good thing or a bad thing. For example, AT&T will now charge iPhone users to FaceTime over a cellular connection, which is 3G for them. There's always a way to overlook this issue. Just use Wi-Fi when available. Next month, you can switch to the shared data, mobile data plans starting from 1 gigabyte for $40 plus $45 per device and can go as high as 20 gigabytes for um, $200 plus $30 per device. This may lead into a mining saving situation or breaking your bank type of thing. The majority of us using a version of Microsoft Office and also the majority of us using Apple iPad. But when Microsoft announced the next version of Microsoft Office, we can see that Apple iPads will have to wait or may not have to at all if Microsoft don't release a version for Office for Apple iPads. It seems clear that we, we just have to wait and see. Yesterday, Apple released the iOS 6 Beta 3 for developers as well as improving feature support for iPhone 3GS. This includes the addition of shared photo streams and VIP mail filtering. This is a great thing for Apple to add support for iOS 6 on the iPhone 3GS. Seems like Apple is making big steps as time passes by.